Hi, Nicole here, and welcome back to another Stem Cell Talks. If you've watched any of our last few videos, you know that dental pulp stem cells, or DPSCs, are being utilized in quite a few clinical trials. Well, today, we're excited to bring you some more great news about advancements in the field as a new phase two clinical trial is underway, this time to treat Huntington's disease. Huntington's disease is an incurable genetic disorder that causes the breakdown of nerve cells in the structure of the brain known as the basal ganglia. This causes a wide range of symptoms, such as irregular movement, impaired cognition, and psychological issues that progressively worsen. Working towards finding a cure, researchers turn to DPSCs as a potential treatment option, since they originate from the neural crest, which is crucial to nervous system development during embryonic progression. During phase one of the clinical trials conducted by Celavita of Brazil, Six patients with Huntington's disease received three intravenous infusions of DPSCs with the aim of promoting neural cell regeneration to counter the degradation in nerve cells that is characteristic of the disease. The patients were observed for two years following the infusions to ensure the safety and efficacy of the treatment. Phase one of the clinical trial showed promising results as five of the six patients showed improvements in their motor abilities based on the unified Huntington's disease rating scale a standardized clinical rating scale used to evaluate the state of motor, cognitive, and behavioral capacities in patients with the disease. Additionally, the treatment did not cause any adverse side effects. With the success of phase one, phase two of the clinical trial is now being initiated. In phase two, the number of participants increases and variable doses of the treatment are administered to assess dosage regimens to achieve optimal treatment outcomes. This trial represents the leading edge of potential DPSC therapies as research migrates from the lab to clinical trials. We will continue to update you on the status of this trial and others involving dental pulp stem cells. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like us and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.